In this video, we are going to find all functions f that maps the set of integers to itself, such that for all integers a and b, f of 2a plus 2 times f of b equals f of f of a plus b. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Before I start solving this functional equation, let me tell you some hints and some of the tools that I'm going to use um, to solve this problem. The first one um, is actually an advice, is that uh, you can try to make the equation more symmetric. As in, if you swap the position of A and B, then the equation will still look the same. And that's what I mean by symmetric. You may try to do that before you uh, continue watching this video. And a tool that I'm going to use is called the Cauchy equation. If I can reach some form like this, f of x plus f of y equals f of x plus y, then I can immediately deduce that f of x is just a linear function with um, zero constant term. So it's just a constant times x. And in fact, uh, this can actually be very easily proven if it's only under um, the set of integers because we can quickly get this by induction. So the first thing that I'm going to do now is, of course, as said just now, I'm going to um, make the equation um, uh, symmetric about A and B. So the I would immediately swap the position of A and B. And then I will have f of, two, f of 2B plus 2 times f of A equals f of f of A plus B. Now notice that the right hand side is actually symmetric about a and b while the left hand side is not so i can say that these two parts uh, must be equal so then i managed to get rid of the double f and now i can start to plug in some numbers When a is 0, then f of 0 plus 2 times f of b equals f of, two, f of 2b plus 2 times f of 0. That means 2 times f of b equals f of 2b plus f of 0. So that means I can rewrite f of 2b as 2 times f of b minus f of 0. Of course, this holds for a as well. So now I can even take out um, the 2 inside this f of 2a and we'll get let me label the, the original equation as star so I do not have to um, um, copy the phrase the original equation again and again I can say that this equation star becomes 2 times f of a plus 2 times f of b minus f of 0 equals to f of f of a plus b now if I put a equals 0 into uh, the new version of star again I can say that 2 times f of 0 plus 2 times f of b minus f of 0 equals f of f of b. The bracket under double f is now just b but not a plus b. So f of f of b is equal to 2 times f of b plus f of 0. Now the trick is I'm going to replace this b back into a plus b. So therefore, or maybe I can write it this way, b is replaced by a plus b, then f of f of a plus b is actually equal to 2 times f of a plus b plus f of 0. So then star can further be written as 2 times f of a plus 2 times f of b minus f of 0 is equal to 2 times f of a plus b plus f of 0. And further simplifying, 
I can say that f of a plus f of b equals f of a plus b plus f of 0. So I've managed to remove the double f and uh, make sure that all the terms under the function do not contain any constant multiple once and for all. Now here comes the second trick is that I'm going to subtract f of 0 on both 2 times f of 0 on both sides in this way f of a minus f of 0 is the first one f of b minus f of 0 is the second one and for right hand side it will become f of a plus b minus f of 0 so you can see that these three parts labeled highlighted in yellow they all look very similar except that the term the terms inside f are different a b and a plus b so to make things look um, prettier i'm going to say let g of x to be f of x minus f of 0 then it becomes g of a plus g of b equals g of a plus b then Here's where the Cauchy equation comes into play. Then we have, uh, by the Cauchy equation, I can say that g of x is then cx, some constant c. And I'm going to uh, rewrite f again. So therefore, f of x is now uh, cx plus f of 0. To solve this, um, to solve for f, I'm going to put this back into the most original version of f, or of, the, of, of the equation star, which is that f of 2a plus f of 2b equals f of f of a plus b. So I'm going to put it back. So f of 2a becomes c times 2a plus f of 0 plus 2 times f of b, c times b plus f of 0. Notice that um, the first expression contains only 1 f of 0, while the second expression contains 2 times f of 0. So there are three of them all together. And for the right-hand side, I can say that is c times c times a plus b plus f of 0. This is the first f of a plus b. And then I further multiply that by c and add another f of 0. So altogether, I will have 2c times a plus b plus 3 times f of 0. And that equals to c squared times a plus b plus c plus 1 times f of 0. Now I'm going to put everything on one side, so that will become c times c minus 2 times a plus b plus c minus 2 times f of 0 and the whole thing adding equal to 0. Now I can factorize this times c times a plus b plus f of 0 while c minus 2 is the common factor so this product is 0. Now here we have two cases. The first one is that uh, c is 2 then things will become very easy. Then f of x is just 2x plus f of 0 and you'll notice that this will hold um, for any this will hold for any value of f of 0 so I can just say that f of x equals 2x plus uh, d some constant d of course it has to be an integer because we have to make sure that all the outputs under f are integers so that's our first case Now the second case, otherwise, 
then c times a plus b plus f of 0 has to be 0. Now, for this case, because a and b are arbitrary, and we must have this to be identically equal to 0 for any a and b, then all I can say is that c must be 0 and at the same time, not all, but at the same time, f of, not, f of 0 is also 0. So that means, in this case, f of x is constantly equal to 0. Like, it's always it's 0 all the time. It's the zero function. Well, you can put this uh, back to checking. Just to make sure everything's right. Well, f of x is constantly 0 is obviously correct. Now, for... For this function, for this family of functions, as you say, because d is here is an any arbitrary integer, then this is equal to 4a plus d plus 4x plus 2d, and that's 4, 4b, sorry, and that's 4 times a plus b plus 3d, while f of f of a plus b is equal to 2 times 2 times a plus b plus d and the whole thing added by d and that's also f 4 times a plus b plus 3d so it's again a tick so these two are our final answers i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments if you like my videos Make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.